thank you so much guys for watching my videos please continue to watch the entire playlist from the very beginning to the end of the videos i bet by the time you finish these videos you'd become a master at using google ads and i'm not teaching something which is mediocre i'm teaching something which is not taught across india so just subscribe to my channel and continue to watch all my videos and um, and i'm teaching these videos with the intention that you don't have to go to an institute to learn these things you go to an institute to learn these things in real time right if you want to really learn upon work upon big accounts in accounts that invest crores of rupees you know that's exactly why you choose to join an institute or a boot camp right so you go to my website prashanthrenigundela.com and uh, you can leave an inquiry in case you're interested to learn one on one with me i'm happy to do so and uh, let's jump right in with today's topic today i'll be discussing about column customizations see column customization is one important thing in google ads you know which allows you to bring the database and display them in interface remember google literally tracks everything right who the user was and what age group he belongs to what gender he belongs to where was he located where was he searching for what time what day what device what location what was the search term where did he click did he not click everything is captured but remember not everything is displayed up front in the interface so it's your job is to make sure that you bring the database and display them in the interface and once you add them to the interface you can go ahead and add custom and and you can add segmentation as well this is what we call it as segments right now i'm not adding segment right i'm going to teach you about the column customizations in the next video you'll learn about segments right so column customization you see all these campaigns and these are all columns remember these column customizations can be done at campaign level ad group level ad level keyword level in simple terms wherever you have data in all these places you have columns remember when you create a campaign by default you don't find all the columns getting added your job is to add columns which you want the data that you want to look at so your job is to add them and how do you add them you see here you have something called columns the next one is segment which i'm going to talk about in my next video here you have something called filter if you want to filter only one campaign for example if you want to filter uh, only campaigns with the word adword search what i can do is i can go type in like adword search and only get those campaigns that means other cam uh, i will not be able to see the other campaigns right now i see a lot of other campaigns i don't want to look at them i want to particularly view this particular campaigns so i can apply a filter here right and then you have segment segment next video you can continue to watch my other videos as well and continue to watch my present video i have something good to share with you you know by the time i finish my video so this is column customizations and then you have reports you you can see all these things i'm going to create separate video on this the same reports option is also here right if you go here as well you find the same report you see right and then you have the download option you can download the entire data in excel sheet or you can email the uh, entire report as well or you can even schedule it for right now i would i would I, i would restrict myself to these columns now so when i click on columns you see i have something called modify columns here these are all the columns that i have already added prashant i want this column to go up i can drag and drop i don't want this column to be there prashant so in that case what i can do i can simply cross it right so you have the option to add columns and you even have the option to drag and drop so you can see them in a way you want to see them for example you want to see them very close to the campaigns you can put them or you want this particular column to be at the very last uh extreme right you can even put that you can drag and drop if you don't want you can simply close them right but i'm not talking about that here there are certain columns right remember again columns is a way to bring database and display them in the interface so column customizations first one is bid strategy type i think you might be aware performance it will it will show all the columns for example sometimes what happens is general default columns will be clicks impression ctr but there are certain columns which you might find not not find so in that case what you supposed to do you have to add columns i think you might be aware about clicks cost the formula of cost is clicks into cpc impressions number of times ads are displayed ctr interaction for click, uh, search network is interactions so or for video campaigns it views view is interaction you have interaction rate engagements invalid clicks is important one this this column is only available at campaign level remember invalid click rate invalid clicks are only available at uh, campaign level invalid clicks are clicks that are that are from your competitor or somebody repeatedly clicking on the ads somebody unnecessarily clicking on the ads so all these clicks google will capture them and google will not charge you for these clicks remember you can find them at the campaign level then you have invalid interaction you have cpc you have if you if you're running a if you're running a average cost is again how much you're spending uh, average cost is average you spend uh, per interaction or how much you're paying per interaction right 
right and if you're if you're having a video campaign it will show you it will add it will, it will allow you to add a column called views where you can see the number of views that you've garnered view rate watch time and average watch time per impression how much of the video that he saw he saw 25 percent of the video 50 percent of the video you can find all these things and you can find how many times you got impressions in the absolute top you can find how many impressions you got in the top right you can find all these details at one place and and all you have to do is just go to column and add these columns you have viewability you can you can again you might be aware this is a display network uh, feature viewable impression it, it will only count impressions as viewable when the ad is served in the visible interface or at least 50 percent of the ad is served in the visible interface right you can find all these things and then conversion you want to look at all the conversion related data you can add these columns you see you can add these columns now the good thing about these columns is once you put your cursor on any of the column there'll be a small pop-up you read the pop-up you get to understand what it is so if you don't understand in once always try to read it twice thrice you'll definitely understand so all the data related to conversions you can find it one place and you can add all these columns and for each of the campaign you can find these columns that means if i have one campaign which is adword search i can find all the data for that, all the conversion related data for that particular campaign in one place all i can do or i have to do is add columns right i'm not talking about conversions at all here because there's the separate videos for that how to track conversions and all so right now i would not be emphasizing on that now and then you have something called attrib attribution attribution how do you assign success to a conversion or to which campaign to which ad click to which impression you are assigning uh, 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 the 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 the, the uh, what do you say the value right how do you assign a value or success to a touch point right in the top conversion path attributes again you can find campaign id every campaign will have an id every campaign uh, will have a type subtype and label competitive metrics again if there's impression share report i've created one specific video a uh, close to 20 25 minute video only talking about impression share how important is impression share so if you want to look at these reports you simply have to go add these columns and they will display all the impression share report for a particular campaign for a particular ad group or a particular ad keyword and if you link your adwords account to analytics account you can even find some of the analytics data in adwords account which include bounce rate pages per session average session duration now if you are having a call extension campaign or if you're running a call only campaign and you're using google forwarding number google even tracks the number of calls that you've received and they can find those number of calls here and if you're using the message extension you can find how many people have messaged you now youtube earned action is nothing but when you're running a video campaign and your ads are served people see those ads and after they see the ad they happen to go to your uh, channel or they happen to go to other videos of your channel and they and they watch those videos and they watch or they like and comment those videos or share those videos they'll all be counted as earned views or earned comments and all those things so you can find all those things here youtube and earned actions right and then you have reach metrics how many people you've reached essentially it talks about how many how many how many times a person has seen your ad or, or or you know see individual user or you can look at it at a cookie based level as well right and the good thing about these columns is what you can do is you can give a name to these columns as well and if i give a name as conversion all i have to do is i can go select this column uh, the co when i do column customization all i have to do is select that name and all the columns get automatically added rather than me going and add each column one by one this is particularly important when you have different um, you know uh, motives for example if I have one column or one set of columns only for conversions I might have one set of columns only for attribution so in that case I can't go and add each column one by one so I can give them a name and put them in one set and I can all I have to do is just use that name and all those columns get automatically added now this is at the campaign level right so if I go to add group level also you have columns and there are certain columns which you might find only at ad group level there might be certain columns which you might find only at ad level so remember you got to maneuver around the interface you know check all these columns because the more you understand them the easy it will become for you to navigate through the interface and remember once you are very familiar with these columns the same columns you'll find in filter if i go click on filter the same thing you'll find it here so it is not something different so once you're familiar with the columns so once you're familiar with all the features or the metrics you have in filter the same thing will follow you will go to you go to filter you'll have same things you go to uh, column customization you have same things or you go to graph for example here I, I did not add the graph there's something called graph if i go to graphs also here i click on it you find the same things right so you don't have to you know know them multiple times all you have to do is just make some conscious effort to learn all of these things and and columns gives you a good way to 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 look at data right and once you add these columns what you can do is you can even admit, uh, apply segment to to break that data even more and try and find some valuable insights which will help to improve the performance of your campaigns right now when i when i come to the ad level let's go to columns again let's see what all columns i have it here the same thing i have right right now if i go to keywords 
some people lot of people ask me prashant what should i do i am i am writing one keyword or 10 keywords how much should i bid i am not really sure where to start should i should i start with 100 rupees bid or should i start with 200 rupees bid what if my 100 is too low what if my 200 is too high so so when people ask me i tell them you ask me the question still i have to log into the adwords account i would not be able to tell you this answer unless i log into the account because everything is here so if if you asking me this keyword and you telling me how much i bid there is one column called remember follow me guys very important so i am going to the keyword section i came to this place called columns when i click on columns you have modify columns here when you come here you have a small feature called attributes in attributes you see estimated first page bid estimated first position bid estimated top page bid when i add these three columns and and lot of people even ask me about what should i do to improve my quality score if you're asking me the same question again i would have to go log into the adwords account because ultimately i would not be able to see and tell you unless i log into the adwords account so when i come here i am adding all the columns of the uh, quality score you see I click reply. When you come back here, you see all the match types. Oh, sorry, the quality score metrics. You come here, you see estimated first page bid. How much you supposed to bid so that your ad will appear at least on the first page? How much you supposed to bid so that your ad will appear at least on the top of page one, two, three, four? How much you supposed to bid so that your ad will appear in the first position? So if you ask me how much I'm supposed to bid, I'm going to I'm going to add these columns. If you ask me what should I do to improve my quality score, I'm still going to show you these columns as well, right? So remember, guys, columns are very, very important. Not everything is there by default. So your job is to add whatever columns you want to the interface by going to a place called column customization. And here, I want to go a little further. I want to teach you one small trick. A lot of times, what happens is your boss might tell you, "Hey, can you can you please compare the performance of my campaigns from last month to this month?" So in that case, what do you do is you just go here. at the top right hand side you uh, you have a date range picker right here you have a small option called compare when you go to compare option you can select any date ranges of your choice but i am already going with this month and last month i click on apply when i click on apply you see every column will have this small bracket kind of a symbol what i have to do is all all i have to do is just click on that symbol and it will open up it will show me the the data for last month this month change and the change percentage earlier when this was not there what you were to do was you were to put the first month and then download the data put the second month download the data and then compare now you don't have to do that you simply have the option of comparing two different date ranges in the same place so and when you apply that what happens is each of the column will have this uh, bracket symbol you click on that it will open up and you can check the comparison of those both date ranges in the same place for each of the campaign or group or uh, ad or keyword and now and not just this now just this i want to show you one more thing in case what happens is you might have lot of campaigns when you have lot of campaigns and lot of campaigns have clicks but you want to find those campaigns which have high number of clicks so in that case what you can do is you can sort campaigns by impressions you can sort campaigns by clicks you can sort by whatever column you want and it will can sort in ascending order and descending order right so this is one important feature and you can find these columns in campaign ad group ad keyword search term report auction insight report in all these places remember once you're familiar with custom uh, column customization in one place the same will appear when you go to filter the same will appear when you go to graphs the same will appear when you go to uh, columns right so i would appreciate if you can go spend some time navigating in the interface the more you are comfortable using in the interface the better you'll be able to use the features of adwords and stay connected watch my other videos take time go back to your adwords account spend some time you know navigating through the interface you'd become an efficient marketer if you have control over uh, you know the the the, the interface right? thank you so much and continue to watch my other videos i'm going to share some great uh, 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 features great strategies which will really help you use these strategies and 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 become a good good adwords expert thank you so much and uh, stay connected and watch my other videos and continue to watch the entire playlist thank you